All right, guys, so just got home from uh, <clears throat> work and came home to a little surprise from Excessive. It's been about two weeks. Finally got my clutch pedal. Look at this thing. Pretty nice. I got to say it's nice and braced. The finish looks pretty good. It's got that, like, uh, wrinkle black on the pedal. The, uh, the stay itself looks like powder coat. Nice hardware, the bushing in there, nice and greased. Pretty nifty. Feels like a nice solid piece. Um, and then we have the OEM Master. I uh, got this thing just because I figured, why not? Um, I don't know how old the Master is in the car. This should be the same exact one that's in the car. So, you know. Um, <clears throat> but it's got nice zinc plated shit. So it should be, should last a while. Uh, one thing I'm not seeing is the pin that goes through this guy but maybe they just utilize a nut and a bolt in there so i'll have to figure that out came with instructions so yeah next nice day when it's not raining we're gonna go ahead and pull the old setup out of the gs and throw the new setup in all right so we're here at my house after work working on the uh, gs just got the clutch pedal out pretty simple it was honestly uh falling out as it was so here's the old pedal i believe this was out of like a corolla but like let's just take a minute to examine this thing you know what i mean look at that piece of flat stock holding the uh, bolt through no nut on this side what is that an allen wrench <laughs> it looks like a fucking allen wrench but that's getting junked, and this is going in its place. Nice, solid, excessive unit. Should be a, a hell of a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and try and get this slave out. Um, not exactly sure how much of a pain in the ass it's going to be, considering kind of everything's still in the way. All right, so we got the uh, master out, as you can see. They did a fantastic job doing this uh, the first time. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and check out the directions on this new master. Pretty sure I'm going to have to drill new holes, which kind of sucks because uh, I put up the pedal inside the car. And since those are like at an angle, the other, well, the other excessive pedal, it has mounts for the slave being kind of like parallel. So like up and down. So that sucks. But uh, I guess it's not a big deal. I'm going to go ahead and read some of the directions and see what i have to do to pretty much you know figure out exactly where i gotta drill new holes and this and that all right guys it is a steamy fucking night uh let me tell you you know i don't i don't mind when people work on their cars but guys please if you don't know what you're doing don't touch your fucking cars on that note let me show you guys what i have accomplished and uh what else i have to do all right so getting under here i got the clutch pedal mounted up as you can see uh if you peer in there got the clutch pedal engine bay slave is right there or the master rather you know not a terrible spot um but one thing that i will say is that it's not the correct spot so when they did the last uh master install or the clutch pedal install Whoever did it drilled the hole in the wrong spot. So I kind of had to utilize this, the hole for the master, like the rod. So uh, that's what I did. And it's obviously not really in the right spot. It's going to work. It's just going to be a pain in the ass to fill. And um, as you can see, the pedal is not exactly level with the rest of them, but it will be, it will, it will suffice. I gotta say it will be fine. Um, and, um, if it feels a little weird, I can go ahead and bend this a little bit. This is steel. So, you know, it's not really a big, big deal, but I'm going to go ahead and throw in the little bolt and nut for the clevis or whatever the fuck that thing is. And, uh, pretty much finish up for tonight. I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes and I'm super hungry. So we're going to call it quits for tonight and pick up another day. Saturday morning. I uh, just got the clutch bled. It feels pretty good. Clutch pedal is definitely a little bit further than the brake pedal. But it seems to have pretty good throw. And I guess we'll find out when I uh, go ahead and turn it on and throw it into gear.
Also, I should probably fix the angle of the front mount right now, just because that is just straight up bothering me. All right, so we got the uh, bumper on. Intercooler is pretty much straightened out. Looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead, wipe down the wheels, throw some um, chemical guys uh, wax on those things, kind of polish them up a little bit. And then I wanna go for another drive. All right, first impressions with the new excessive clutch pedal. I gotta say, night and day difference to, to what I had. Um, I can't really compare a nice new pedal to what I had because my pedal is ready to fall out. So, uh, but anyways, feels really good. I had to adjust the, uh, the throw of the pedal a little bit more just to get a little bit more of a bite. Um, the first time I put it in, it was a little harder to get it to gear, but now since I like adjusted like the clevis, it, uh, it feels pretty good. Um, it could use a little bit more fine tuning, but I'm kind of at the end of the threads on the threaded rod. So it's either I'm gonna have to come up with some type of spacer and uh, go that route or you know figure something else out. But it feels great. Um, it goes into every gear perfectly fine. It goes into reverse nice now. And uh, it switches gears really nice too. The, the trans actually feels half decent now. Whereas before, it kind of felt super notchy and just like didn't really feel good at all. But uh, I'm just going for a nice little cruise. Uh, I got a couple things I got to do, so not too much I, I can plan on uh, doing with the GS today. But I'll try and get you guys a couple clips of me doing some pulls. And hope you just enjoy the sound of this thing. I got to swap out that... Uh, wideband sensor from it sitting outside for so long i guess it must have went bad but it is what it is still gonna make a shift boot but you know it takes time 